मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हमेशा एक एक्टर और एक कैरेक्टर का एक क्या बोलते हैं एक वाइब होता है एंड द लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स ऑफ द एक्टर विच विल कम इन टू द कैरेक्टर एंड अपने आप वो आ जाता है एंड नाउ वेन यू लुक एट मंजिल यू कॉन्ट थिंक ऑफ एनी वन एल्स बट सी और डूइंग द कम्प्लीटली डूइंग द रोल ऑफ ऑफ मंजरी हाई दिस इज अश्विनी आया तिवारी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन मिर्ची प्लस हाई दिस इज अमीना शेख योर एंड विथ मी टू डे आई हैव एन डिरेक्टर हु डज नीड एनी इंट्रोडक्शन उनकी फिल्म ऐसी है जिसने काफ़ी नॉइज बना चुके हैं ऑलरेडी सोशल मीडिया पर भी एंड हैज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेजेस थ्रू हर फिल्म उनकी फिल्म में जो हीरोइंस के कैरेक्टर हैं वो काफ़ी उम्दा रहे सो वेलकमिंग अश्विनी आई है तिवारी ऑन मिट थैंक यू थैंक यू समीना सो नाइस टू मीट यू नाइस टू मीट यू टू एंड यू नो हैविंग गुड कॉन्वर्जेशन ऑलरेडी विथ यू बट ये बात फिलहाल है आपकी रिसेंट रिलीज प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में विच इज़ विद सयामी खेर सो टेल मी हाउ इज इट यू नो इंट्रोड्यूसिंग सयामी टू योर वर्ल्ड एंड मेकिंग हर रिवील द कैरेक्टर्स विच शी मस हैव ऑल्सो नॉट नोटिस्ड For me, uh, when uh, when uh, we were writing and Soumya Joshi, who's uh, the writer of uh, Fadu, so uh, the character of Manjri was a very soft uh, but very strong mind uh, woman, hmm. and uh, very rarely do we see these kind of characters on screen. Uh, it is not necessary that you need to scream and shout to look strong, but you can also be silent and have a very a uh, strong focus on what you want to do in life hmm. and what is your ideo- ideology in life uh, so for me uh, manjri was that and um, i had never met sayami before hmm. uh, but uh, there was something about her which uh, made me uh, want to meet her hmm. but of course it was a pandemic time and there was no option of even meeting her in person to maine aise hi phone uh, kiya unko and uh, we of course have a lot of common friends whom we know through and unko maine bola tha auditions dene ke liye and she sent her auditions mm-hmm. and she was so scared to send her audition is because she was in nasik in her house and wahan se usne ekdam simple bina makeup ke jaise um usne lucknow mein kurte pehne the aur she just like said okay this is what the audition is her sister taken the all the videos and everything mm-hmm. and she sent and then she told me ma'am i want to talk to you because i feel that you know ye बिना ऐसे ही ऑडिशंस दिया मैंने आपको hmm. तो मैंने बोला यार यही तो चाहिए मुझे बिना कुछ कहे बिना कुछ फ्रिल्स के एकदम जैसी हो वैसे ही मतलब मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हमेशा एक एक्टर और एक कैरेक्टर का एक क्या बोलते हैं एक वाइब होता है एंड द लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स ऑफ द एक्टर विच विल कम इन टू द कैरेक्टर एंड अपने आप वो आ जाता है एंड नाउ वेन यू लुक एट मंजरी यू कॉन्ट थिंक ऑफ एनी वन एल्स बट सयमी Of doing the completely the doing the role of uh, of Manjri. Ashwini, you yourself, Tatchura, so young, you know. You're, I'm young. You're a young director. I'm not yeah, young. <laughs> you 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 are young, you know. When when it comes to vibe, when it comes to the way you present yourself, how does it feel, you know? Because with your experience, you have, you know, an entourage of experience. But how does it feel, you know, when that when that work is. You know, worshipped, and that work has been appreciated. Like people kind of are reluctant to tell me, Ashwini, ko ye, humme ye quality pasand aayegi ki nahi, you know, or would she prefer us to be in a certain manner, or you know, would she want us, you know, to be there in their films? Like you know, actors wanting to, you know, to work in your films, and you are young. Touch wood, you are young. You know, by the way you carry yourself, the, by the way you talk to people, it shows in your, your your soul is young. I would say that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know the age, and I, age is just a number. Yeah, as, you okay. Know, is is what the thought is but you know the people respecting the kind of work you do how does that make you feel i think it's very important for all of us to just keep doing our work and doing our work with a lot of passion and uh, and integrity and discipline mujhe aisa lagta hai ki with every story i want to say you just do it tell it like as if it is your first film hmm. and uh, you forget everything else you forget that aapko आपकी पहली फिल्म में अवार्ड मिल गया या आपको लोग बहुत अप्रिशिएट कर रहे हैं आपके काम से बिकॉज मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर वेरी ट्रांजिटरी तो आपको हमेशा ऐसा लगना चाहिए कि यू डिड योर बेस्ट एंड देन यू नीड टू कीप मूविंग फॉरवर्ड बट आई ऑल्सो फील एज अ डायरेक्टर इट इज़ माई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू गिव एक्टर्स द काइंड ऑफ वे एंड द काइंड ऑफ रोल विच दे मस्ट हैव नॉट इमेजिन दैम सेल्फ इन and uh, i feel very happy that uh, i have been an integral part of all my actors in all my films 
for them to do the kind of roles they have done hmm. in any of my films agar aapne dekha ho to to um, i don't expect anything from actors that unko aisa rehna chahiye aisa hona chahiye aur na mujhe na main bahut sare actors ke sath ज़्यादा फ़ोन पे बात करती हूँ ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है ना मैं साइमी को जानती थी ना मैं पवेल को जानती थी ना मैं अभिलाष को जानती थी hmm. मैं किसी को नहीं जानती थी पर मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि इट्स ऑल आई एम अवेयर आई वॉच एवरी थिंग आई एम अवेयर ऑफ वॉट एक्टर इज डूइंग विच फिल्म एंड वॉट आर द काइंड ऑफ रोल्स दे आर प्लेइंग आई एम प्रेडी अवेयर ऑफ ऑल दैट इट्स इज दैट आई मीन माई ओन वर्ल्ड बट जब मेरी कहानी आती है दैन आई एग्जैक्टली नो दैट दीज आर द actors i need to approach hmm. and uh, because i feel that somewhere a part of them will be very good in the kind of film i make ashwini also just in jis tarah ke films or projects aapne kiye hai usme jitne bhi female leads hai hai unke character ko aapne kafi yani umda rakha hai kafi you know it's like if i go back to say you know kriti sanas character in bareilly ki barfi i would really see that the world is revolving around her in the movie and not only like in you know, ayushman khurana or say in you know, rajkumar rao yeah the kind of you know movies you have made you have always chosen to give that importance to that you know female lead hmm. what makes you do that do you somehow feel and that is very important also you know that encouragement of you know you know enjoying that you know feminine you know thing yeah. is what i feel yeah i just feel that uh, it is very important as as a storyteller like you telling me that i feel good to see a, a woman empowered as a character yeah. uh, in a film i need many more men and women saying that the yeah. reason being is that uh, we walk hand in hand and it is very important that our women characters are also are shown in as much light hmm. uh, as our male characters also i do feel that even if sometimes the women character is not the lead hmm. but still to show a very strong point of view of hers hmm. uh, to also show uh, some kind of gratification hmm. in the story is very important so if you take kriti's character as pitti she is a very strong person hmm. a strong person not necessarily needs to be loud yeah. but she is a very strong person she has her own will will yeah to do right. what she wants to do hmm. and also the relationship between her and her father hmm. पंकज त्रिपाठी के बीच में जो उनका रिलेशनशिप है आई वॉन्ट पीपल टू सी माई फिल्म ऑडियंस टू सी माई फिल्म एंड समवेर यू नो यू पुड इन थॉट दैट यू आर आई विश आई कुड हेल्प माई डॉटर डू वॉट शी वॉन्ट्स और आई विश आई लाइक आई हैव गॉट सो मेनी ट्वीट्स एंड एंड सोशल मीडिया मैसेजेस वेर पीपल हैव सेड आई हैव गॉट वन ट्वीट विच वॉज वेरी फनी एंड आई थिंक इट वॉज वेरी नाइस ऑल्सो सर आई वॉन्ट मैरी टिल आई डोंट फाइंड अ गर्ल लाइक मंजुरी Mm. you know these are the kind of things is because inherently um uh, i just felt that a lot of men uh, after watching fadu wanted to get such a supportive but a strong woman like manjuri mm. because there although she is a completely being his best friend mm. and men are vulnerable hmm. so who says they can they don't have they cannot cry or they cannot have their own kind of uh, days where they completely feel that they need to talk hmm. and we don't show that in cinema and here in fadu i showed that i showed that abey who's played by pavel is always talking to manjuri and telling her things hmm. which she men have no idea about hmm. un us she doesn't know anything about about some business or some something he's trying to do some entrepreneurship he's trying to do yeah. but still he's telling her and she's listening and she's giving a point of view also yeah and there's a very beautiful line where he goes and he tells her that you know uh and this is a man telling a woman hmm. saying that you know what come back i'm feeling lonely yeah. i am lonely and she says you are lonely hmm. yeah. and the way she says it Uh, it is always about the yin and yang, and I always feel that it is very important to uh, show uh, the woman of the house. We all are the women of the house mm. uh, in every stage of our life to be strong and to have a point of view and to walk along. Mm. And the the day m- men start respecting women and men support women. Mm. because they also come with so much of a uh, strong point of views too 
So I think that is very important. Ashwini, also you recently said that it's very important. Maybe it's important, yeah, or maybe you know there is that necessity that currently you know the generation doesn't understand love as such, and romance is missing on screen. And this is something now. Even when I'm watching an you know, OTT series and all that, I feel like what time say kisi romantic film I be nikhe jo you know it leaves an impact in you. I'm seeing action oriented film. I'm seeing you know films which has you know this gray scale cinema kind of thing, or you know say completely like dark cinema or you know dark sense of humor. But yes, what he said is right. You know that that love, that romance. Like even in when I say Bareilly, also in that also. You know how much little little baato se unka wo jo pyar nok jo kota tha. Or say you know even say for example Shah Rukh Khan film also for that matter. Ek wo romance you know or even Sanjeev Lal Bhansali films and all. But wo kahi na kahi that is actually missing. What do you say on that? You know because I really want to know you because I also felt that. So I feel that in this fast paced life. Uh, everything has become digital hmm. uh, i don't remember would you remember when was the last time you actually spoke to a person we are just been messaging and yeah. voice notes are the new speaking yes there is no interaction uh, and the pandemic made it worse uh, we go to a restaurant i was just talking to someone uh, and i said that we go to a restaurant hmm. and uh, we are on the phones if you go to any mall आप देखेंगे यंगस्टर्स भी जाते हैं मॉल में एंड देर ऑन फोन देर ऑन द फोन एंड एवरी थिंग दैट फास्ट फूड इज वेरी फेमस ना फास्ट फूड एवरी थिंग इज फास्ट एंड देर इज नो साइलेंस और देर इज नो टॉकिंग देर इज नो सिटिंग जस्ट दर्ज अ टाइम जब हम लोग ऐसे बैंड स्टैंड में देखते थे ऐसे और कितना मजा आता था ऐसे कि कपल्स बैठे हुए बातें कर रहे अभी तो पता नहीं मॉल्स में बैठे रहेंगे वो तो uh, मुझे लगता है कि वो बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है वो मिसिंग है अभी द यंगर जनरेशन इज चेजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ देयर ड्रीम्स वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एंटरप्रेनर्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम दे वांट लव बट व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट द मोमेंट दे चेजिंग देयर ड्रीम्स समवेयर लव बिकम्स अ सेकेंडरी थिंग वेयर इवन मीटिंग वंस अ वीक हैज बिकम एन अपॉइंटमेंट It is not like yeah, शाम को मिल लेते हैं. And when you say this, I relate to it completely. आ शाम को मिल लेते हैं. It's like a become an appointment कि नहीं आज नहीं मिलते कल मिलते हैं. Yeah. And you know आज ये काम है वो काम है because and also I think the most important thing is patience. Hmm. Patience तो है ही नहीं अभी कि आप एक घंटा अपने फोन को switch off करके बात करें एक दूसरे के साथ. तो मुझे लग रहा है वो बहुत missing है अभी और in this time and age there is nothing called जस्ट सेवरिंग द मोमेंट स्लो लाइफ जिसको कहते हैं वो है ही नहीं सो आई फेल दैट समथिंग लाइक दिस वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक आई जस्ट फेल दैट द द ईरा ऑफ सिलसिला लम्हे या शाहरुख खान की जो फिल्म आई थी बच्चन सर की जो फिल्म आई थी जो पुराने जो फिल्म हैं जो आपको इतना प्यार दिखाता है वो पता नहीं अभी But do you also feel that you know, as we are speeding, you know, in terms of you know, twenty first century, bull rate, you know, two thousand twenty two, two thousand twenty three, आने वाला है. Do you also feel that emotions, जो एक time पे होते थे, you know, I am getting emotional for this person, or you know, I have this soft corner for this X Y Z person. वो emotions ही गायब हो चुके हैं literally. That has either drained out, or they are out of the box completely. Because like, that's not priority. Hmm. The idea of romance has become more. more of a commodity hmm. than than a feeling hmm. uh it was um, from love at first sight it has become a thinking of too many things hmm. when you're even falling in love because the brain functions more than the heart yeah true. and there are so many tick marks which need to happen when uh, when you're getting uh even falling in love or forget everything else For falling in love itself has become a tick mark in a notebook so i do feel that uh, that is missing because i have so many uh, so many young people in my team hmm. and every time i ask them like what happened so every time i meet them it is like um with each film i think something has changed in their relationship <laughs> so <laughs> okay it's just the <laughs> i don't know like literally <laughs> this is very <laughs> what you're saying is right actually because you don't know it's so chaotic yeah 
maybe it's so cluttered maybe also the patients as you said you know yeah. how my mom keeps on also annoying me you know so many times ke tum log ki generation ko pyaar samajhta hi nahi hai maybe yeah. she says you know at one point of time we had we didn't have only like you know it's not only about lust it's yeah. also about you know feeling that love yeah. for the person your generation yeah. doesn't understand that yeah and i don't know i feel numb i'm like i don't know what to say more about yeah. it but because that is happening because people are too focused on you know their careers maybe you also too focused and to also the idea of adjustment yeah mm-hmm. that you cannot get everything in one person yeah and uh, and there is also a point of view on that that mm. our parents generation mm. uh, always said that you know you need to adjust adjust yeah. then our generation came in which is my generation came in and said that you can adjust but only till a certain extent is because you need to just like you know walk hand in hand walk hand in hand and there can always be uh, two point of views but ultimately the one mm. uh, who's correct we will just gel along so everything cannot be 100% mm. but still if there's something completely opposite then i'm not going to take it mm. that Correct. is our generation but this generation is either it's black and white either is this or this if if it is this then it's not going to happen and i think that is what is um, there is no patience to even listen so that's why the first thing which i ask is that how much are we even talking mm. meeting and talking or or talking on the phone we are just messaging yeah it's just all on the message actually yeah and that sometimes also makes you know there's also misinterpretation in messages misinterpretation exactly you because don't it's like aapko nahi ko kaun se tone mein kaun baat kare aapko samajh nahi aata exactly yeah correct iske liye voice notes aa gaye that aapko samjhe ke ha theek hai main gusse mein hu so the emotions as i say no it's just like tak 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 you're writing now yeah. you are writing in anger the person i'm thinking ne kitne acche se message likh ke usne but it it's giving yeah, different yeah. you know wrong signals and all which yeah. is that you know that entire universe <laughs> jo yeah we yeah. don't know what exactly is happening yeah. do you also feel that maybe is it's also because you know after this entire lockdown people are in this rush of nahi ab jo bhi jitna life bacha hai let's just like you know make the best out of it or you know kaam karo or just focus on work or you know in like fact that. mujhe to feel- aisa lag raha tha lockdown ke baad and the pandemic uh, actually gave us a lot of life lessons hmm. that Uh, the things we were running behind actually we don't need to run behind those things yeah which is you know uh, yes money is important hmm. important how much money is important it depends on each, each individual hmm. uh money and love have to go hand in hand and uh, sometimes money just surpasses love hmm. and when i say love it's love and time it is about love not only between a man and a woman but love also for your parents for your friends for for picking up the phone call when when your friend is in need and to answer that call or to meet the people you love hmm. and that definition of love is is what needs to be defined i think after the pandemic um so to mujhe to aisa lagta hai ki lot of things change and also to take life not so seriously hmm. is because wo leke bhi kuch fayda nahi hai and the most important thing which i feel was to like live each day yeah as it comes बिकॉज कल क्या होने वाला है किसी को नहीं पता देफो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू जस्ट फॉलो इन लव ओवर एंड ओवर एंड अगेन एवरी डे विथ वॉट यू डू वुड यू वुड यू प्रिफर मेकिंग अ फुल फ्लैज लव स्टोरी और या फाडू इज अ फुल फ्लैज लव स्टोरी इट 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 आवर्स ऑफ लव स्टोरी बेसिकली इट्स अ नोट जी सीरीज बट लाइक यू नो प्रॉपर theatrical a theatrical yeah. yes uh, bareilly ki barfi was a was a mistaken identity com- comedy slice of life love story yeah if you ask me i want to do like a full fledged musical very heavy um artistic love story yes i would love to and what are your upcoming projects you're working on which is keeping you busy <laughs> so i've uh, just finished fadu <laughs> I want to break now, uh, but uh, start producing a lot of films because I just felt that a lot of youngsters need. Uh, they have good ideas, and uh, for us, uh, for under our company, for both Nitesh and me, I just felt that it was important to just enhance those creative. Mm. So we have uh, Tarla with Roni Ascruvala coming up next year, which mm. is directed by Piyush Gupta. Uh, Tarla is the life story of Mrs. Tarla Dalal, the mm. first woman chef of India. Mm. uh then we have uh, baskaro aunty with the hot star sidroy kapoor and uh, ronnie scrubala mm. again directed by 
one of our directors, mm. Abhishek. Um, then we have uh, Bawal, which is my story and I've co-written the screenplay with Nitesh and our other writers. Of course, Nitesh is directing it mm. and uh, which uh, uh, it's been uh, uh, led by Sajid sir. So, Sajid Nadiadwala is producing So, 2003 it. is completely occupied for you in a way? Yes, and then we have a couple of films with uh, Geo Studios. Yeah. So, will we also get to see you collaborating with Nitesh sir for any of your projects? Is we are happening? collaborating on and off, on and off. We never think through it. Like for Bawal, the story idea is mine and uh, we have co-written it together mm. and he's directing it. Uh, we are also uh, co-producing it with Sajid sir, so that is there. We are co-producing a lot of films now, but co-directing, I don't think so. <laughs> Ek kar liya <laughs> Although we are, we uh, we both have our vision is the same, but I think now we both want to make very different films, hmm. and his he wants to make very different films now. I want to make very different films, so. Yeah, but we'll always work together. That's never going to go. Atra sal to aise hi hoga. But why? Why the title is Bawal? That he Aisa will answer. Bawal he will answer. answer. <laughs> you have to go. And you question. have taken such a fresh pair, also. You know, Varun and Janvi. Again, People, he will answer that question. You have no answers on this. <laughs> no, I'm not going to answer. <laughs> yeah, you completely are being very safe like that. I must say that. No, that's his his film, his baby, his. Uh, He's a director, Sajid sir is hmm. there, so I think he and Sajid sir should be talking about it with that much Talking passion. about your film, I have been hearing that you're making some film called Tarla. I've read about it, so tell me something about it if you would. Tarla, no, it's not, we're producing it. Producing it, yeah. but in case if you would like to say something on that, because the name itself makes us wonder, you know, ki Tarla, I mean what. Bola na mene bhi. Haan, nahi, bola, Haan. Aapne, aapne Haan. Sa bola. Main bata ki the name itself Achha. makes us wonder. So Tarla uh, is basically, uh, on the first woman chef of India, Mrs. Tarla Dalal, oh, uh, okay, the yeah. whole India has grown up watching her cookery, cookery yeah. and reading her books. I'm like, That's all why of I said my like generation, name itself, like, you know, makes like you all of my generation, yeah. everyone, and now also, I think she was the one who actually started doing those video cooking. Yeah. And uh, when during the pandemic, or even now, when we see so many chefs yeah. who are uh, homemakers also who are cooking from homes, yeah. uh, it is because I think she created the way for many, uh, many uh, of the women who out here today. Yeah. So, so yeah, so Tarla is an ode to food. For the love of food. <laughs> we all love food. We all love food. <laughs> love of food. Kuch hota. Pe literally bas sif khana dikta aur kuch nahi. <laughs> so recently we also heard, you know, Mr. Bachchan calling you Malkin. And I was Choti wondering Malkin. Choti Malkin. So why Choti Malkin though? That's because uh, I have uh, I have had the honor and full of gratitude that I've been working with Mr. Bachchan for almost uh, 12 years now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when uh, the first campaign of KBC happened, Kaun Banega Karunpati, hmm. I uh, was the, from the creative side and uh, I used to like, you know, tell him that, sir, you have to sit here, you have to do this, this is script, you know, so oh, I used wow. to do that okay. and he was like, who is this girl? I mean, she is not afraid of it, she will tell you what to do. That's Bachchan, sir. Yeah. So, but through years, uh, with every campaign we did for Kaun Banega Karodpati yeah. and uh, with, uh, after doing a lot of ad films with him and of course, uh, Nitesh shot Bhutan Returns with him. Mm. Uh, he he just considered us as you know as uh, two of his uh, kids who are like also doing well and yeah. uh, and always encouraged us to do a lot of good work. But every time I work with him, he say, "Ha, choti malkin, batao, aaj kya karna hai." Uh, also, I think he's very special uh, in our lives is because I still remember 2010. Uh, I was uh, about uh, eight months pregnant huh. uh, with my twin kids oh. and uh, with our twin kids <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Bachchan sir, we were shooting KBC and I was he heavily pregnant yeah. and uh, Bachchan sir told me that uh, Devi ji, you sit down because I don't think that you will be able to get more money from it. And I said, no sir, I'm fine, you have to do this today. And he said, you are seeing that you are going to go to the hospital tomorrow. And I said, no sir, it won't happen. I have at least have about 
uh, about two, three more weeks. Huh, huh. And uh, he said, Acha, theek hai, ab bed jao. Hmm. And next day morning, uh, next day morning, I uh, had to go to, to the hospital. Wow. <laughs> I had to go to the hospital and I was like, okay. <laughs> That's... And the first message when Nitesh said, no, he sent it to Bachan sir only saying that to in kids. <laughs> Yeah, wow. yeah, that's yeah. quite a good prediction. I must say that. Though. Yeah, so that's why he calls me Choti Malkin. <laughs> but that's that's quite a good compliment also from his end. Yes, he has always encouraged all the work which I have done. He he never uh, fails to you know tweet about my even my book which I wrote, mm. uh, my novel which I wrote. He talked about it, the ad campaigns which we have done, so the films which we have made. Um, it's just an honor to have someone who just who just appreciates your work it just keeps us going hmm. and also you get to learn so much from him so much you learn from him in 2022 apart from your own projects which project has been your personal favorite which you felt like okay this film is something which is worth watching or you know has that impact of cinema uh, in bollywood in bollywood honestly i've not watched too many films because i was very very busy i was shooting till march outdoor mm -hmm. march ke baad i was doing all post yeah. of fadu okay. and then three months we were away for bawal okay huh. shooting huh. so so actually i've really not watched and it also be a little unfair for me to like say you know this is the film i liked and all because everyone makes the makes a film as a director i know how much effort do we put hmm. into making a film as a director producer writer and uh, i just feel that everyone puts an effort to making a film and we are no one to be saying that we like this film and we don't like hmm. this film and this film is okay then we should appreciate each other's work and we should just love and encourage each other's work so that we just have many, many more stories coming in from all of us. Though it would be wrong for me to ask you this, but I really want to know if there is one actor or actress which has been your personal favorite and whose work you may have seen, you know, over the years and you feel like, you know, that oh, person. Oh, yes, is that is something which I really, uh, who I would want to work. Yeah, you I, want to I work with. I definitely, you, I like. think Alia is someone who I really want to work with. And wo, wo abhi tak bolte na ki stars are not aligned yet. Yeah. Uh, but I hope the stars align and we get to work with each other. Yeah. Uh, actor mein? Actor mein. There are so many, everyone, yeah, there are such so many nice actors and uh, so many nice actors, male, female, who I would love to work. I would love to work with Vicky Kaushal. Mm. Uh, I think he, he he's, he's very talented and he I really like him and I think I hope I get to work with him. Alia is someone I've been wanting to work for a very very long time hmm. but the right things are not coming out the scripts but yeah. yes I think hopefully Shahid Kapoor is someone I would love to work with. Hmm. Ranveer Singh is there I would like to work with. There are so many actors all of them are nice. I, I, I think so too. Darlings especially. Yes, yes. I like, like Vijay Varma. I really like uh, I like uh, the brilliant uh, Shefali Shah. Hmm. I think there are so many actors. There are so, uh, uh, the, uh, there's so many actors who I just have the shined so much yeah. in the last two years, you know. And these are the actors we need to work with is because it is just not about one or two actors whom, you know, will make a film. I just feel that getting so many brilliant actors together hmm. will just not make it best, but will make it fadu. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much for your lovely thank time you. and all the very best for your upcoming projects. And thank I'm looking you. forward to Bawal, to Tarla, yeah, yeah. to <laughs> Geo Pro <laughs> Productions which you're making. Yeah. But of all, looking forward to see a romantic film from you. Yes, I hope so too. I hope Inshallah. so too. <laughs>